I am very sure that there are people in this little private Facebook group that are also going to be very involved with the golf tournament that is going to be in Carmen this fall. And also a few of you watch my woodworking videos. And if you do, you know I don't try to cover up the mistakes. Now this afternoon when I was turning down the remaining 16 pieces to complete the uh, four pen pencil sets, well I was short one piece and that's because some of you might remember in episode number three of the common slimline something went wrong. Well it wasn't my fault but it was a flaw that nobody knew about. We didn't know it was there until we got to it. So I thought, why don't I try to turn it down anyway the rest of the way and just see how it comes out. Can't get any worse. Well, as it turns out, it was kind of getting better. So I started plugging up the crack with CA glue and then I got a little bit uh, over anxious and I sprayed the CA glue with curing agent. Well, don't you know, it kind of bubbled and turned white. And I thought, uh oh, that's the end of that. Then I realized that the clip on these uh, pens is fairly wide. So I thought, you know, the clip might sort of hide this little white spot. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. And we'll see how it goes here. I realize that right now there's a lot of people watching that are going to pick up on the significance of what I'm going to say here. And that is, the flaw has been covered by the cross. Every pen and every pencil either comes with an extra refill or an extra package of leads. Those pens and pencils that I made with the olive wood, well, the wood came with certificates of authenticity. In other words, it really is Bethlehem olive wood. It came from the Holy Land. Now, if you're interested in getting one of these sets for yourself, well, you know the people out at the Cornerstone Golf Tournament better than I do. Why don't you get a hold of somebody and find out what you gotta do to get it?